If you want to live life to the fullest, then step out of your comfort zone. General Valley of Color Toastmasters and Ashutosh in particular. Project number two is considered to be the easiest project in the Confident Communication Manual. And if it was the easiest, then I wonder why they have dedicated almost six pages to it. <laughs> well, that is because though it is easiest in terms of selection of topic, it is the most important and fundamental project because all the projects that follow are based on the simple principle of having good introduction and both the speech opening, a well structured body of the speech, and a forceful conclusion. So, Ashutosh, my evaluation would be on the way that you delivered your speech, both in terms of content and delivery. You began the speech very well, and uh, in fact, I was so taken up with the way that you delivered the opening that I kind of forgot the exact words that you used in the speech opening, but nevertheless, it was something that uh, caught my attention. It was a date, and it was a situation where you were interacting with your crazy uncle. Right? So that was very well done. The body of your speech had three main points, three incidents, three examples. The incident where you had to go to school, the incident at the school assembly, and the time that you encountered the girl in the bus stop. So there were three incidents, three main points where Ashutosh tried to get out of his comfort zone. If you notice, they were all chronological in order, which showed good organizational skills. There was something that all of us easily related to. And as you went about narrating those three examples, I could visualize myself there. The way you, print, uh, you painted images in our minds and my mind, I think that stood out very well. The conclusion of your speech too was good. The sentence with which I began the evaluation was your concluding statement as well. So that, uh, that is a very good way to do as well. But most of all, I was amazed at your level of confidence. And that was demonstrated in the way that you made use of the lecture of the uh, stage area here. Now most people would wander about aimlessly, but your movements were purposeful and it showed that you had put in a lot of thought into every movement that you had on stage. You had humor and more important than having the humor is the timing of the humor. And that was spot on. The use of words, the verbal component of your message, words like petrified and trapped, they, they had that added dimension of emotion behind the use of those words. Right? So there was emphasis on the use of those specific words which I mentioned before. So that again showed the high level of confidence that we had. Uh, two small points for improvement. One is your eye contact. Yes, you did look at us. You did look at me. But I felt that at some times you were looking out there towards the open wall. Right, where, where you could have looked at more people in the audience. Uh, you've also taken the trouble to look at your previous evaluation and put that into good effect. The previous evaluation said you were tampering with your phone buttons. This time you were free of that. So on the whole, it's been an excellent uh, speech from you. Uh, I had a good time and I could relate to your topic. And thank you very much for educating all of us. All the best to you.